Audio Mulch tutorial number two. Last time we saw the drums, today we'll open the arpeggiator. Uh, you just drag it again into your patcher. Um, we'll take a, a mono 2 mixer, connect the output to input 1, get the mixer to uh, the sound out module to left and to right. So this is left, this is right. Um, and we start playing with the arpeggiator. Double click opens the module. Mine is already on play. With you, it's probably not going to be on play because uh, you probably. Or, well, if you opened the program before and pressed on play, then it's going to be there. Uh, we open the mixer. As we said before, we need to, to get the volumes of our channels up. Uh, the arpeggiator uh, generates sound from scratch, so if I put it up, it's just going to play the last note. Um, continuously. So what we want to do is press play and get it moving along the keyboard. Um, basically, an arpeggiator would take a certain amount of notes that you can arrange um, however you want and get them to pass from one note to the other in a certain rhythm uh, that you have total control over uh, and again and again and again. So it's just gonna play it. Um, this is your little keyboard here. You put your chord in or the notes that you want to play um, in, in a certain MIDI loop. How this arpeggiator is built is like this. First I'm gonna explain, then I'm gonna give some examples. Uh, you've got two oscillators, which in both of them you can decide if it's a sine wave, a saw wave, or a square wave. You have, uh, for the second oscillator, a transition uh, menu which gives you the, um, the distance between um, tones and semitones of the first oscillator and the second oscillator. So if you get it to plus 5, it's going to uh, play the second oscillator uh, a fifth higher. If you get it plus 12, it's going to play an octave higher, and so forth. Detune is, um, well, it just changes a little bit of the tuning between the oscillators. It kind of gives a, can give a drunken effect. If you know something about phasing, you can tweak it around and just play with it. This is, this is my philosophy. You have something new, just touch every button. Uh, if you don't like it, just reset it and do it again. Balance uh, gives you... <coughs> When it's on the left, it gives you oscillator 1. When it's on the right, it gives you oscillator uh, 2. When it's in the middle, it gives you a perfect mix of both of them. And you can, of course, play with um, more of this one, more of this one, but still both. Feedback is equivalent to uh, the decay um, in, in synthesizers. So basically, uh, <coughs> the, the feedback would continue your uh, note for a certain amount of time and play the next note even though the first note is still playing. On this arpeggiator it acts kind of weird. Glide is um, how it glides from one note to the other. Um, now we've got the whole arpeggiator uh, uh, line which has uh, those effects. Direction up would go from note uh, 1 to note 3. Direction down would go from 3 to 1, up down would go from 1 to 3 and back again, and random would just play randomly uh, only the notes that you have decided to play. Bass octave, well, in a piano there's about, uh, if I'm not wrong, 8 octaves. Um, here it shows you only one octave. What you can do is just tweak it to, to whatever octave you'd like to play. So one would be really low, you probably you won't hear anything, especially not from my computer because I'm recording with my, my um, speakers, my internal speakers, which don't get to this range, actually. Um, cycle transition would be, um, well, how it passes from, from one octave to the other uh, based on the range. The range uh, is giving you the option to play one octave back and forth or go 
two octaves high, three octaves high, four octaves high, still playing the same notes, but just going up and up and up and back down, depending on the direction you've decided. Um, the random button, just play with it. Skip would skip some of the notes. Repeat would repeat some of um, of, of the no would give the length of of how much it repeats. This is um, well. Here it shows how it goes from beginning to end, and every time it plays a new note, you've got your. Um, uh, tempo thing, so if you press 1 it's just gonna play one note every 140 BPM or you can have it tweaked however you want, this would play 4 notes every BPM every 140 BPM, this would play 8 notes and so forth. So let's see how it acts. We put the volume a little bit up now we're on 1 to 8 so let's go uh, to 1 to 16. This is how it sounds, it's just faster. Change this to sine wave. The sine wave is uh, very silent again because it's clean. Um, here we've got only the sine wave. Oh, very nice. Um, I love the square wave, it's just video game music. So you get both of them on square waves, you put the balance again on both of them. And you can have a fifth, a fifth always works. So we have a real um, kind of video game line. Uh, we're not going to touch the feedback because it sounds bad, like this. Although you can play with it, and when we'll get to the effect, you can do really cool stuff with it. Uh, and here you have the, your, your octave. You just add or subtract some notes and get to the line you want, depending on, on, on whatever you like. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to put this back on zero, though. Um, direction, let's go up-down. So you've really got kind of a cycle that goes up and down to the first and it, it sounds looping um, range now let's play it two octaves okay so it just goes up two octaves and back down four octaves would do it for four octaves and back down so back to one skip would just skip so you see it skips some of the notes. Um, basically, that's that's it. Now, I'm just going to show you a little trick, uh, which is really cool. In the patcher, like every other program, you can copy and paste your module. So um, I'm working with a Mac, so com Command C and Command uh, V. You connect the other arpeggiator to the mixer, put its volume up. Now we've got two arpeggiators working at the same time. If we decide to put them on different tempos and on different ranges and octaves, we basically have very fast kind of a certain, well, line, um, which you can either use or not use, but it's very easy to put up melodies with an arpeggiator. So, that's the arpeggiator module, which is really easy to use. Thank you. Have a nice day. Next time we'll go through... Um, we'll go through the 10 harmonics, which is a sine wave generator with 10 um, harmonics.